in this video we'll display the status of user uh, like if user is online we'll display green otherwise it will be red so let's get started so we'll go to private chat component so what we'll do here is we'll uh, listen for uh, there is a channel called uh, presence channel uh, if you go to broadcasting section so we'll uh, use that presence channel yeah so this is presence channel so it got some methods like uh, if user has joined this channel or if leave leave this channel uh, so there are other methods like this so what we'll do is we'll uh, uh, create another channel so on created so there is already the private chat channel this is uh, perfect for, uh, this is perfect for receiving one to one messages but it is not uh, fine for displaying uh, the status of user so that's why we'll create another channel just for uh, displaying the user status so uh, you can call it any I will call it private uh, laravel chat or l chat so if user if user loads this component or if user visits private chat page uh, it will join this channel all right so this will display the uh, all users we can console log that and now that we have uh, we are joining this channel we need to define it on our backend so all we need to do is go to channels and here we need to define another uh, one more channel so I'll call it PL chat because we have called it here so these two should match and here uh, to authorize for this channel uh, we need to do like this so if auth check if user is authorized then we will return so here we need to return uh, any object you can return anything like array of object so basically you will return the data of user who is uh, logged in or who has just joined the chat something like that so here I will uh, return whole user object since we are listening here user so these uh, this data will come from here and now make sure you are running npm run watch so now if we go to page and reload so we got three so three users all inside currently online so uh, yeah so it is displaying uh, ourselves also so web dev Shubendu and Hitesh is online this YouTube user is not on so because I have opened those up in another tab so that's why it is displaying so all three users are logged in also uh, let's clear this up let's say uh, let's log out this user log out or just close this tab so uh, this user is let's say Subindu bot and let's see what happens here so keep eye on this console if I close this up yeah so Subindu bot is leaving online users just to make it clear alright alright so online users currently two online users so we logged out uh, another user let's say let's open let's log in Subindu and it will say it is joining yeah so joining Subindu word we just joined if we leave it will say leaving alright so now we have information about uh, the user who is joining who is leaving and currently online alright so we can utilize that so I will make this dot online friends equals to users I will assign that and of course we need to create that uh, property here online use online friends so online friends by default it will be empty object and whenever user joins we'll make that all online users alright 
so also uh, when someone joins we'll push this new user into this uh, array this dot online friends dot push user and whenever a uh, user leaves we'll uh, remove that uh, item from this online friends uh, array so this dot online friends dot splice uh, this dot online first we'll find uh, this item index of we'll get index of user and then we'll strip out one item which will be that item so whenever user joins we'll push item to that array otherwise if leaves we'll just remove that item from that all right so here now we'll have online users all online friends there now what we can do here is so this is the list of friends uh, we are showing we can do is uh, we can just do online friends we can just loop through online friends and only display online friends like so all right so, uh, so on only two users are online so it is displaying like so so let's say let me join so if other user joins yeah there we go we can see that if user leaves it will go out and comes it will come here all right so instead of just showing uh, only online users uh, we'll display all user and then toggle the color of button according to their status so to do that let me restore that friends so we'll loop through all friends but here we are displaying green what we can do is we can decide this color dynamically all right so what we'll do is if this condition satisfies so the condition will be so on online friends so on this array we'll uh, see if uh, the our friend is available on that if that is available that means uh, that friend is online so if in this array friend there is friend that means there is online friend so we'll do find so this find have access to this online friend online friend on this so we'll return online friend dot id is equals to dot id all right so this friend if uh, if this matches that means there is item on that array so if this condition satisfies what we'll do is will display color green otherwise red you can extract this to one method if you find it difficult to read yeah it looks like we forgot that now let's refresh yeah so now we see list of all friends so this one is not active that's why we see red so let's uh, exit out of this user let's log this out yeah so it is turned red let's also log out that is also red all right so this is about displaying status of user and i'll see you in the next video bye